Good to go. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, everybody. It's good to be with you again. I hope that you're outside as I am and enjoying the weather. It is absolutely gorgeous after the whole hill country got a little bit of a bath last night. I hope you didn't get any of that hail damage. No surprise to you, though, as to where we are today. We're at the public library, and but we're not going to be in the library today or talking about it. And we're just going to be talking about some of the art sculpture, new art sculpture that we have. And we're going to be joining, in fact, uh, Holly, I, I think you've seen this one over here, and I'm not familiar with all the names, but let's go over here and talk to our expert, our local expert, and that is Mary Woods, who's going to tell us all about this opportunity we have. Hi, Mary. How are you? How are you, sir? Good to see I'm you. Good. good to see you. Thank you for Thank being here and talking oh, about the art. You bet. Uh, you know, most of my work, unfortunately, during the day is inside of an office, so I have an opportunity to come outside which is absolutely great. Love it. We start over here at the uh, the front part of the library, as you know, and we, we spanned out there on a blue sculpture. Yes. And uh, we've got one sitting right here in front of us. So you being, Mary, our resident expert on uh, Art El Fresco, kick us off and just introduce these two pieces here, and then we'll start talking about the program itself. That sounds great. Thank you, Mayor. So the blue piece you see up front is called Traction. The artist is Art Fairchild out of Dallas. That piece is made up of more than 300 individual pieces of steel. Wow. And it's powder coated, painted, yeah. uh, to be as beautiful as you see here. The really cool place about that placement is you can see it from Main Street all the way as you drive in the library and it's very prominent on the library grounds. It's a beautiful piece. We've already seen lots of our citizens and their kids out there taking pictures with right. it, which is exactly what we want. We want them to be interacting, touching it, taking photos with it, and share them with us when you get a chance. We love to see those photos. Well, and Mary, I, and, and off camera, we were doing a little conversation, and I was listening in on the conversation. It had to do with prom pictures. Yes. That this site is a uh, popular site, anyway, well, for it really is. How, how, many, how many different people were here on Saturday? Uh, one of our employees told us we thought there was about 400 people here. Wow. And we know it's the gathering place for prom. Everybody does their pre-prom photos. A lot of people do engagement pictures here. All sorts of life moments are captured here at the library. It's just such a beautiful facility, beautiful grounds. That's great. That's great. All right, so we, we met Tractor. Traction. Who are we going to have, or Traction, who are we going to meet here? This is Hector, and Hector is by Jimmy Don Snowden. Jimmy Don is currently uh, living in Nacogdoches. He is a student of Joe Barrington, who is another artist who oh, has sure. a piece that the city Remember bought a few name. years ago. Yeah. Yes, He is going through his MFA uh, program right now, and his MFA show is coming up up in Nacogdoches. And Hector is kind of a little... Um, he looks like a little alien. He's on the front of this piece. He's got a single eye. A lot of fun. The kids love him. Very colorful. One of the reasons we put it right here in front of the library. There are sure. so many kids and families that come through here. We want something that they're really going to love and want to interact with. Right. Now, we've got some other pieces here. But yes, before sir. we go there, let's give a little bit of a background uh, to the Art El Fresco program. We okay. got started when and how are we doing on that process? We're doing, uh, our first installation was in 2015 and it's a five-year program that the City Council approved. We're in our third installation now. They just went up a couple of weeks ago. So these are brand new. It's been about two weeks that the pieces have been up. Very good. This particular, um, all the collections are selected by a public art competition committee mm -hmm. that is made up of a juror, two, uh, pardon me, three citizens, and then two city staff. And they're the ones that okay. choose every year, and then we install them and ready for the public to enjoy them. All right. Yeah. Well, let's take a little walk. Now, okay. i got a couple more questions about some of that. So we're going to walk down this way here. And this uh, beautiful, beautiful place for all these shade trees. out here in the yard then I think we can see some of these other pieces here Mary and you can introduce those pieces uh, to us.
There you are, see a yellow piece over there that certainly catches your eye as you walk down in this area here. Yes. So what are we seeing over there? That great piece is armadillo. It's a very bright yellow armadillo. The piece is a sculpture by Jeffy Brewer. And you'll remember Jeffy from last year, we bought his bull that is out on Highway 46. Oh, sure. Uh, sure. Near the Longhorn Cafe. He's got a very whimsical style, as you can see. And uh, we actually set him up so it looks like he's been digging in the dirt over there. Okay. As armadillos do. <laughs> they do. Right? <laughs> and Mary, this piece here? This piece is called Almagestum. This piece is by John Whitfield. And John actually, besides being a sculptor, is also a physics professor. And this piece actually came out of a conversation about how planets rotate around the sun. Can't tell you all that detail. I'm not a <laughs> physics professor. that we have here. Mm -hmm. Arno Fresco has got a collection somewhere else around the city. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about that. So we have five pieces here at the library and there are five pieces elsewhere. So there are two more over by Kendall Inn at the Cibolo Trailhead and then uh, we have one piece out at the pool. Okay. We have one piece on Blanco Road which is called Traction. Kind of looks like a crazy stoplight uh, that is out on Blanco near the post office. And let's see, I'm missing one. Who am I missing? Let me refer to my trusty brochure here. And by the way, we have a walking tour that is called AutoCast that you can download to your phone. And AutoCast is an app enabled, um, well, it's an, an app that you can use on any app enabled device. So your smartphone, your iPad, you can listen to the artist. They've each recorded something about their piece of art, and you can listen to that on the Odo Coast. Because I thought Otocast. I saw one out on River Road someplace, and then out at City Park. Did As, I see uh, actually, one there? it's the uh, North Neighborhood Park out by the um, the park's headquarters, and oh, yeah. that is by Robbie Barber. It's called Under Siege. Very interesting piece. It looks part of it looks like the nose piece of a World War II fighter. Now. During the course of the year, now that these pieces have gotten into place, mm -hmm. the public, whether yes. they be citizens or otherwise, they get to have an opportunity to play a role in all of this, do they not? Absolutely. We ask them to vote for their favorites, and we consider that as the city goes into the uh, selection process to decide whether or not we purchase some of these. As that voting comes in and we consider the construction of the piece, what it's going to take to maintain it, the voice of the citizens and the visitors, all of that is taken into consideration before we make a recommendation to City Council to okay, purchase. And, that, and the committee is making that recommendation to City Council. Yes. Sir. City Council then votes on that. Correct. Okay. Now, there was a Facebook page also. Yes. And I think there was something to do about a selfie. Absolutely. Tell me about that because I, I think I'm starting to warm up to it will be the first selfie I've ever done. So you go know, ahead. Me too. <laughs> so this is called uh, Take Your Selfie Outside and it's part of the uh, Parks and Recreation Get Fit Bernie that they do every April. Okay. We're extending it a little bit into May since the art is just up. And so we wanted to do something to interact as part of Get Fit Bernie. So a lot of these pieces are placed here at the library along the trail system as well as our 13 permanent pieces are all over town as well. And so what we're inviting the public to do is take a selfie with the piece. You can enter as many times as you like. There's some very nice prizes available. Hampton Inn is giving a one night stay. We've got some of our downtown merchants on the Hill Country Mile that have off are offering some very nice gifts. And so you post your selfie. Of course, you and I aren't eligible to win, but it's right. fun to show them how well, it works. Don't draw my name out, please. <laughs> and yeah. so then they can get some nice swag from our uh, and gift certificates and whatnot from our merchants down in the Hill cool. Country Mile. Okay, so can you take a selfie? Yes, Here absolutely. It Here's our first one. All right, let's get the camera up here. All right, you ready? I'm ready, let's right. do it. Okay, here we are. Three, two, one. Super. Thank you, Mayor. Suitable for printing. <laughs> absolutely. Is there anything else that you want to tell the folks about Art El Fresco that I have not asked? Any last minute piece? You know, I think as well as Art El Fresco, you know, Three of the pieces that we have now, actually five of the pieces that are now part of our permanent collection. Yeah. 
Buffalo Trail. Mm -hmm. We've got Dancer, which is down at River Road Park. Uh, we have Bull, which is you know out there on the um, 46 at 46 yeah. at Longhorn. We have got Solar Wind that is in City Park, close to 46. You can see it as you're driving by. Okay. And then we also have Foundation of the Dudah that we moved from Blanco Road over to the Parks Office. All five of these started out as temporary pieces, nice. and with the input with the public and the committee and whatnot, they mm -hmm. are now part of our permanent collection. You know, the other thing I know, Mary, about just about everything that we do in the city, we have got some good partners that we work with. Yes. Who are our partners in our Del Fresco that help us with all some of the wonderful pieces that are even down here by the library? Absolutely. Uh, with the permanent pieces, that's the Majestic Branch Arts Foundation, mm -hmm. have donated some beautiful pieces to the city. Okay. Uh, Hill Country Council for the Arts helps us promote the arts in all ways uh, in this area and actually it's right. the Hill Country region. Right. Uh, Larry Stevens donated the Gander uh, sculpture that is down mm -hmm. on River Road. Mm -hmm. uh, of course Texas Treasures uh, Arts Gallery is one of the ones that was one of the partners, the, the buying partners, when we bought uh, Wild Bill Hickok, That's which right. is out on the main plaza. The funny thing about Wild Bill is he has nothing to do with Bernie's history except that the incredible artist that created him lives just outside town here, Eric Christensen. It's a beautiful part of Bernie's history, he is but now. he is now he being is a now. part of Bernie's history. I mean, somebody goes by every holiday season, just puts a Santa hat yes. on there. He's had um, bunny ears. And he's probably the most photographed, photographed object that we've got in town, probably Absolutely. next to the gazebo, Absolutely. I guess. Absolutely. People, so, you can see some great pictures. Yeah, People terrific. posing with Wild Bill. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mary. It Thank was you a so pleasure. Much, Mayor. Stay right here for Enjoyed a second. It. I can't help but put a plug in, Holly, though. If you could span back behind me, you're going to see some of the trail work that is going on here at the library as well, which will now hook up the library or make this another trailhead that will enable you to get across that low water crossing down there and hook up to the trail that is on the back side. One of the other things that I want to share with you, we had a city council meeting on uh, Tuesday night. Some of the other things that we took a look at, there was um, uh, there, there are some tax credits that are being asked for. It asked for our support for them to apply to the state, and this is for senior housing over 62 and some tax credits that allows them on some of those units. So uh, that was both of those resolutions were approved, just adding support from the city. Now it is up to the state to, uh, to make that decision. The other thing we did was um, we gave all of our support for uh, Bernie Lemonade Day. I believe they're in their third year. This encourages kids to put together a, a business plan, make up a product like lemonade, have it for sale in uh, their little stand that they'll put up, and then be able to report back on how they've done and all of that is judged. But what a wonderful way to introduce, if you will, um, uh, entrepreneurism with uh, these children. The other things we did, we had a uh, second reading uh, on, um, and the final reading on the rezoning of what we referred to as uh, the commons at Minger Spring. You can see that off of uh, Bandera Road and around on Herf Road. That's multifamily housing. And then we also had the rezoning uh, out on 110 Blue Bonnet for uh, the apartment project out there a little nice little infill project. So once again, here we are. Thanks so much. Thanks for allowing me to even do this outside. What a treat. Um, but we want all of you to have a great day. Write in your questions or your comments. Love to hear.